question for you. Mm. Um, how did you react to Columbia's proposition to basically criminalize homelessness? Yeah. Like, how did that affect you? Um, that sucked. I, unfortunately, I don't know. Hmm? Okay, you got, we got to figure this out, man. What? Um, what? What's the excuse I'm going to use for not having a home? Um, tell them the truth. Yeah, tell, yeah. tell the truth. Okay. Uh, Here we go. So go ahead and tell me your name. My name is Maurice Clay. Maurice Clay? Yes, sir. Right. Maurice Noah Clay. Hello, son. I'm Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been without a house? Six years. Six years. Since 2005. Since 2005. Uh oh. Why have you been out of the home that long? My problem was drugs and alcohol. Uh, unfortunately, when I was doing some entertainment in Biloxi, Mississippi, Hurricane Katrina blew through and I was in it. Which I'm not, I don't do drugs and alcohol anymore. Yeah. But it was drugs and alcohol and I mean, I'll be out in the streets and I can make $300,000, $3,000 a night and still wouldn't have a home. Losing a lot of everything I had with me at that time. A lot of belongings, a lot of things you can't replace. You know, I wouldn't pay any bills because I couldn't pay any bills. <laughs> there was no such thing as bills to me. I just, yeah. you know, I couldn't do it. When I got back, I found out that my fiance had been raped. She had been gang raped. That's pretty much it, honestly. She couldn't touch me anymore. It was just better for me to dip, being a man, I figured I would be all right. You know, I'd better have a house. People who are downtown here, who own shops downtown, they were upset and they wanted, they said they wanted to feel safe because they didn't feel safe. She's better off for it. It was better for me to do that, thinking I would get back on my feet and do it, but it just didn't work out. So the shopkeepers were like, we need to get them out of Columbia. And I can understand why, they felt unsafe. It was three or four o'clock in the morning, people were going home, people were drunk, and people were just walking by these people. And um, I so happened to look, and there was a um, gentleman and a young lady who didn't look like they belonged together. When you get down, man, for some reason that people want to, because you look like you're down. You're not feeling real good. You're depressed, man. You don't feel good. You're not dressing the way you want to dress. You don't have the clothes you used to have. And you just don't, you're not yourself. So uh, that's why I lost the house. Saying that we're going to build 200 beds and you're either going to go to jail or to these 200 beds when there's 1,651, 21, homeless people living in the city of Columbia. And um, she was screaming, and she was shaking, and she was crying. It's like a Band-Aid this big. So I ran after them, and make a long story short, um, we fought. They're my friends. They're people I call, they're people I talk to, they're people I tell about my life. He was working his way all the way down. <laughs> until I decided to say, well, I better rip it out of his mouth. Oh, did you sleep on a bench last night? Sorry, you can't live here. Um, after they sewed me up, they um, brought me to her room, and she was still really shook up really bad. But um, she, she wouldn't let me go. She hugged me, she hugged me, and she wouldn't let me go, man. She pretty much almost broke my neck for a little girl. But um, if I wouldn't have been homeless, I don't know what would ever happen. What would have, would have happened to that young girl? So you're saying, I'm you saying being homeless. You probably wouldn't have if you would have been with him. You probably wouldn't have helped her. I probably would have never met her. Never met her. Everybody else was just walking by. But if I wouldn't have been homeless, I wouldn't have been in the streets that night. And I never would have met her. So, homeless is not a bad thing. It could also be a good thing, you know? It was a good thing for me at that moment. So I never took, I'll never take that back for living in the streets at that time. Any more questions? <laughs>